in RPG Maker XP, Talgrind asks, is there a way to switch out a single tile without teleporting to a new map? Essentially, he has a single item here in RPG Maker XP. This little necklace, he wants the player to be able to collect it. And his method has been to set it to transfer the player to a copy of the same map that does not contain the item. It's very simple to do. <clears throat> so instead of doing that, we're going to go up here to add uh, to new event page. There's now two separate um, instances of this event. And um, here in the conditions, we can determine which version is going to show at which time. So for the necklace, okay, uh, we're going to set it so that do thing. And this could be uh, acquire item, play text, trigger cutscene, whatever it is you want it to do. And then the next thing you want it to do is do control switches. Okay. And then we have access to, to many, many control switches throughout the game. Okay, I will say obtained item. We can give it any kind of name, just a name so that when I'm looking at a list of my switches, I know what this is referring to. Okay, so it turns the switch entitled obtain item on. All right, so what we're going to do then <clears throat> is this second page. In order for this second page to surface, we're going to make it so that the condition is that the obtained item switch must be on. So when you start the game with it off, you'll see the necklace, then you'll get the necklace. That'll turn the switch on that says you've obtained it. Then this page with a blank cover will appear. Okay. Uh, you also want to change it so that the Uh, action button. This will still have me walking on top of it, which is fine because in this case it's a necklace. Let's give it a test. So here's our character. <laughs> I didn't set the graphics to change so the necklace is turning to face me. But there you go. It has now disappeared since I picked it up. And that's how you do it. It's the utilization of switches.